Now let's talk about this kid, this freshman Zion Storm. Man, is he electric. And when we recruited him and brought him in, we didn't know what he would be. But in training camp, he surprised everybody. Five foot ten from a family that has a very athletic background. Both of his older brothers played football and they were fast guys. St. Louis State for Zane Storm and the Wisconsin State Whitetails for Xavier Storm. You know, Zion's gonna be special. Five foot ten, but he's a small kid, but he's got a big heart. He's gonna carry us to the promised land and he is going to eventually bring home a conference title to Long Beach State. Yo, what's good, you two? This is Jay from TNJ, and welcome back to the Long Beach State Dynasty here in season number one as we wrap up the regular season. Now, this is the episode to submit your guys' recruits for next season. Now, how I will do that is I will rename all of the incoming freshmen to the uh, all the other teams in the conference. So if there's a, a freshman that Riverside gets and one of you guys fit the description of that guy, as long as like everything, as long as the position is good, um, I think I will match that up and then I'll match up, you know, the look and everything, the race and the height. Actually, I can't even change the height, but I will match up you guys. So make sure you guys do uh, submit your guys and get those in the templates down below and we will get you onto one of these squads. Now let's hop into the last four games of the season. Here is UC Davis here and they are just straight dominating here in the second to last, the third to last game. How about more? <laughs> he went for 40 points. That is ridiculous. And they take home the victory as they actually are the number one team in our conference, sitting there at 15 and 13 overall. But right now they are going into probably the tournament with that number one overall seed. They are a powerhouse right now in our conference. And you just saw there, we, they beat us by 33. We had no chance. So looking at the other teams around the NCAA, these are the teams that are looking to get into the conference or the NCAA tournament, I should say. And we are still fighting for the conference seating in the tournament. And we'll see, because we do have to win our conference tournament in order to get into the big dance. So we'll have to see how that goes. So here we are in the last two games. I definitely am valuing these last two because we are fighting for that position. In the conference tournament, we obviously want the higher seed. So here we are down by seven versus uh, Cal State Northridge. And let's see what we can do here as we hop into this game with four and a half minutes left. You can see a turnover by Caesar as they miss a shot here. And now Caesar in the fast break opportunity does drive the lane and gets ripped for the second straight possession. So now Cal State Northridge up by seven. And now we get the steal this time. Caesar gets it stripped again and we pass it in a third turnover in 30 seconds. That is just ridiculous. So now here we are still down this time by nine. Missed shot by Zion Storm going to the lane. And you can just see now we cannot get going on offense in this one as Caesar passes it up court to Storm. Step back and it's gonna be knocked down. All right, we're finally on the board here as that one brings it to a six point game. Here's a pass to the wing this time. Joyner back out to Storm. Looks like Storm passing around to the corner. Corner three for Caesar. Three point game with two and a half to go. So now the clock winds down inside of two minutes. Here is Storm driving the lane. Step back though, and he creates some separation. It's a fadeaway three. Tie ball game. Storm is probably the most clutch player on this Long Beach team as here's a pass inside and that is an easy bucket that time. And now they're up by two, 34 seconds left. Here's Spratley in the game, the true freshman. He will get some playing time the next four years. Pass inside to Baz Hellcott and it's good. It is a tie ball game, 68 to 68. Let's see if we can play some defense here. Cal State Northridge with the ball. Working it around the perimeter this time, driving the lane. Joiner on the defense, hop step in the lane, and it's good. It's now a two-point game here, 
12.7. Storm pushes it up the court. He's got an open man. That's Spratly. Spratly drives the lane up to Hellcott, and it's going to be a layup. And it is off target. That was the right pass by Spratly. He had Hellcott cutting to the basket, and Hellcott just blows the layup. Wow, you can't get a better shot than that to tie the ball game. And Northridge takes home this victory by two. And that was a heartbreaker. Hellcott had the layup. He had 14 and 11 in the game, a very good game from him. And he can't make the one that counts. He also had, almost had that block right there at the end of the game. And we end up just being short of a comeback victory. Down seven, we jumped into that game. And we lost by two at the end of regulations. Now, we are sitting here at about the four, three, four, or five seed. We are pretty much tied, at least right now, with another team there for that three seed. But it could go either way based on how these last couple of games for each team will go. And now we have one more game left on the schedule. It's versus Pacific. You can already see their players right now. This is Reed, and they have a couple of other guys that play really well. And... I just want to see if we can close out this season with a win, give us some momentum going into the conference tournament, and we play Pacific for the first time this season on the road, and we give the senior Cuba London the start. This is his last game that he's really going to be getting any meaningful playing time in because when it comes to the tournament, conference tournament that is, we're going to have a set lineup that we kind of roll with and a set rotation. I like you know the guys that we have. We've been actually subbing in a whole lot more so we'll see how our guys do. And the senior gets the start over J.D. Joyner in this game. Wendell season is, Caesar is also a senior. So this is pretty much senior day, I guess you can call it, on the road, though. And let's see if we can come out with a win. Here's a shot this time. Fade away jump shot by Pacific. And they are on the board first. So here is Cuba London passing out to the corner. And that is Zion Storm getting us going. And he hits the corner three, making it three to four. So now here is Pacific out on offense. And they have a pretty good scoring offense working inside. And that is good. And that one will give Pacific the early lead. So now here's a jump shot this time. And that is Colin Gates, the junior forward. And he extends this lead for Pacific. So here's J.D. Joyner getting to the lane, this time to Kashi, and that is a nice mid-range jump shot, and he gets going. He's a guy that gets the rebounds. He's the scrapper of our offense and defense, I guess. And here's a rebound by Caesar, pushing it up to Zion Storm. He has an open shot. That's money. Zion Storm knocks down the shot. He's got six early points, two of three, and now we get it to about the nine-minute mark here in the first half. So here is JoJo Johnson being trapped in the corner, but passing it inside, and that is good. And that will be another bucket for Pacific, getting going in this one. So that is JoJo Johnson getting to the lane, and he does dunk that one in. He's got six early points here for Pacific. And now they have a nice little lead here this time. Jump shot, and I believe that's Colin Gates. He gets it going. And now Long Beach State in a little bit of a deficit early on. Trying to work around this motion offense. Here's a jump shot at the top, and it's good. Wendell Caesar created a little bit of space, a little hesitation dribble, and that does knock down the three, but it does bring us to within six, and we get another bucket that time, and that is Bomaye in transition. He gets it to go. So now down by five here in the first half, six minutes to go, working it inside to Buster Howard, and he lays it up and in. Is that, like I said, I want to get some of our bench guys involved. You can just see some of them already in here. Spratly, another three, and he gets it to go. If he can get that shot to go down, he will be special off the bench here as we move into the conference tournament. Is here's another jump shot. This time, Zion Storm. It's now a one-point game. I love when Storm does run with this second unit. He definitely sh sets them up with some good, pretty good shots. And here is Storm driving the lane, and he gets it to go. How about him adding to his repertoire? Now he can drive the basketball and actually make some tough layups. So rebound by Pacific. Now we have a one-point lead. Storm hits the three in transition. Nobody was back, just him. And he gives us the four-point lead here in the first half. So here's a deep three this time, and that is knocked down 
Pacific is right back in this one, and they take the lead right back. So here is Pacific out on offense, passing it inside, and they get a bucket under the hoop. And now it's a three-point Pacific lead. So 10 seconds left here in the first half, getting the screen this time. Zion Storm creating a little bit of space. He gets the shot off, but is going to be off the mark. And that one is going to end the first half. 27-24, a very low scoring first half. As you saw, JoJo Johnson got a couple of buckets in the first half for Pacific. And Zion Storm hit a couple of threes in transition. It's a three-point game here going into the second half. So now in the second half, well, we just really need to be consistent here and start scoring early and often. I want to get Caesar more involved. Here's Joyner passing around, and look who it is. It's Caesar open three. He knocks it through. 27 all here. And now let's see if our, our starting rotation can really get a good start to this half. Here's Caesar working around again. Getting him some open shots is very, very crucial to this offense and really getting him going because he goes, the offense goes. Another jump shot. That's eight straight points to start out the half for Wendell Caesar, the senior, here on senior day. So here is Storm, another heat check, heat check shot, and that is off the mark as Caesar could not get that one to go. So now in a 32 to 29 game, offensive or defensive rebound by Hellcott working around Storm. You know he's pulling up in transition. He's used to that shot. It's a six point lead for Long Beach. And let's see if we can hold it here as our shooters are now starting to get involved. Here is Caesar working around Storm. Another three. It's good. How about Storm just knocking down shots? He is such a good shooter. He just needs a little bit of space. Here's a fadeaway this time, and that's JoJo Johnson, their leading scorer. He gets the bucket. And now that brings it back to a three-point game here, eight to go. Here's Spratley, the freshman. Mid-range jump shot, it's off. Rebound, and Buster Howard under the boards, and he is going to get that one to go. And now it's a three-point game here, six minutes left. Here is Storm facing the full-court trap, pushing the ball up the court. It's a mid-range jump shot. J.D. Joyner, that's good. It's now a five-point game. So now we fast forward to about three minute, two minutes left here in this game. Rebound by Takashi, pushing it up to court. Here is Storm, another step back. He won't take this three, though. But look who's open in the corner. I mean, just wide open. Caesar, it's good. And it's now a nine-point game here. A minute 20 to go. So now here is JoJo Johnson taking it to the lane. And he dunks it home in traffic. And now it is a seven-point game here. 40 seconds left this time. Just getting the ball out of JoJo Johnson's hands. But they do get another easy layup this time by Jordan Reed, the true freshman point guard. So here's the mid-range jump shot. And that's Colin Gates. And that's a three-point game. We were just up by double digits there just about with about a minute 30 to go. So now they get possession back, down by five. Another quarter three, and it's good. It's now a two-point game, Colin Gates. So they do eventually foul J.D. Joyner. So Joyner is at the line here for two shots, and the first one is just barely off the front of the rim. So now second shot, nine and a half to go. This one looks like it's good, and it's not. It's off. So now they rebound it, and they call a timeout. Trevor Miner gets the board. And now they pass the ball in, and here is the freshman Jordan Reed. He's taking his time here. He passes around, no, don't let him take it. Colin Gates, he steps back. He will shoot. And it's good. Pacific wins it with a fadeaway three. 55-54. We couldn't have played better defense on that play. How about Colin Gates? Three huge shots in the last two minutes, and he gets the game winner to go. And that's how the regular season ends with a game-winning buzzer beater loss to Pacific, 55. 50. Wow, look at that shot. I mean, goodness, what a shot. And that one does kind of hurt us going into the tournament, to be honest, because I think we may have moved down to maybe the five or six seed with that loss. I guess we'll have to see 
Zion Storm had 21 points there in that game. He hit a bunch of big shots. Caesar had a good game as well. Hellcott had 10 rebounds for us. But for them, I think Trevor Minor was actually their leading scorer this season. Uh, Colin Gates, though, 11 points and a few big shots. Wow, that was crazy. And we end up moving on to the conference tournament. And we end up actually snagging the four seed. Pacific, actually, even though they beat us that game, ends up with the five seed. And they play Cal Poly in their first game. We're just going to simulate this first round because we do get a bye. And we end up playing Cal Poly, who is the eighth seed in the corner finals. On the other side, Cal State Fullerton actually plays as well. So to end this season, we had a pretty good season, I got to admit. We really did. We played a lot better than what I thought we would do. I thought we would have a hard time hitting threes, but it ended up being that we had three good three-point shooters, and we didn't really need any more. But obviously, Caesar is a senior. We're going to lose him next season. But I'm excited for the conference tournament. Just looking at the conference's leading scorers. Some of you guys are in here. I just want to give you guys a look at all these guys and really just see who is on each team. I know you guys ask that all the time. Am I on this team? Am I on this team? Um, I don't really know who I've made completely just because there was just so many submissions and I just put them all in all at once. Usually I uh, write them down or uh, take notes on them and see who I'm putting in, but I didn't. I just went through all, every conference team and then just filled them up with you guys. Uh, you can just see some of these guys here. Dominique Weakland was very, very good in uh, this uh, this season. Uh, I'll probably go over the conference awards after the season. So whenever it's done, I'll probably go over that. How about Zion Storm leading the conference in three-point shooting, though, at 46% from three? So Caesar led our team in points with 16.1. Zion Storm wasn't too far behind, though, with 15.6. He also averaged six assists as well. J.D. Joyner, 8.4, along with Baz Hellcott. Those two are very, very good for us. How about Hellcott, though? 8-8 eight and eight he averaged. That's pretty good for a center. He's only a sophomore, so we'll have him for two more seasons as well. Uh, C.S. Bands, we started him in game number one. Then he kind of came off the bench, but he actually averaged 6.9. Is that 6.9? No. He was, uh, I think that was Howard who averaged 6.9 off of that. No, it's Takashi. Takashi averaged 6.9 rebounds, and uh, Hellcott, obviously, the 8.3 and honestly, I am actually very, very surprised at some of these numbers because a lot of the numbers I didn't really see when I played, like say, for example, Trevor Williams, he had a high rebounding total, but he barely played when I was uh, controlling the team. For some reason, they just never put him in the automatic rotation. I have that on auto and it's looking at three point percentage. How about uh, some of these percentages though, but my was 50%. He shot 16 threes. I didn't take many threes with him. So maybe I'll start to take more and Zion storm shot 46% as well. So that's going to do it here in the regular season. I'm looking forward to the conference tournament is going to be very, very exciting. We have that, uh, first round by now playing Cal poly in the quarterfinals. So we will have to play three games in order to get into the big dance and we have to win them all. So hit subscribe, hit that like button. I'm ready for it. Make sure you guys get your recruits in. Make sure you guys submit those. Stay tuned. Let's get it. Let's go. Yeah, hey, filling out these job applications. Life got hard after high school graduation. I went to college and your boy got financial aid. They gave me money, then I went and bought a pair of J's. And I bought a pair of shades. And I bought a new computer. Half a hundred dollars left. Spent the rest on...